everyone, this is Julia again with the development of video technology in the past few decades. Video image quality is greatly improved with much sharper pictures and better colors. Now, photo is widely applied and streaming services are becoming more and more popular. Those all require a high efficient video codec technology to improve the quality and reduce the file sizes. And that's why we need HEVC. As a professional solution provider of IP-based video transmission, KTV recently released the first 4K UHD video encoder with HEVC, the S2. And the S2 features all critical supports. It supports NIHX and SRT, at the same time can support RTSP, RTMP, HLS, UDP, etc. It's multifunctional with high bit rates. You can do multi-platform streaming at the same time. So the mainstream and the substream can send to eight platforms at the same time. We can also do the dropping, the recording, intercom, and so on. What's more, if you compare with the H.264 encoder, it can save more than 50% and let's take a look. Here I'm holding the S2 and let's take a look of the front panel. Here at the corner you can see there are three indicators showing the power, the link, and run. And here there's a big size you having, so you can show the status of the program and the preview. From the left you can see there is a power switch. You can turn on or off the units. And this is the DC in. So the 12 volt power adapter can be connected here with self blocking. And this is the 3.5 millimeter line in port. So we can support animal audio as well. And HDMI out, HDMI in. Both of the HDMI ports can support up to 4K P60. So they are both HDMI 2.0. And the streaming itself can support up to 4 k 30 So you can easily connect a USB drive here and you can do the recording and S2 becomes a recorder. Or you can directly connect a USB headphone to the USB ports and using the QV intercom server, you can also do all those type of intercom functions. Or you can use a USB to serial adapter to control the PC camera. By the way, the S2 can also support a NAS recording. And here is the Ethernet port with PoE. So you can directly connect your S2 to a switch with PoE without connecting the PC power adapter. Now, I will show you the UI of the S2. The S2 is adopting a brand new UI design, which is more user-friendly. So you can see there are the video or image preview with safe area and central cross or OSD settings. And there is a clear dashboard to show the parameters. It's very easy to operate such as switching between the mainstream or substream or add a new stream. So that's all about the S2. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us by info at qu.com or you can visit our website at www.kinofu.com and see you next time. Bye-bye.